Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new week and a brand new tutorial. My name's Fran and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create fake blood for your images. So for the purpose of this video I have already created a selection using the pen tool. So I've got my path there which is going to be very useful when I'm using the paintbrush to paint within those lines. So to begin with I'm going to create a group and put my selection on that group. So command click the selection and then pop a mask on there. So everything I do will be within that group because it's got a mask on it. So I'm gonna get a brand new layer here. I'm gonna pop that in the group. I'm gonna come over here to the paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to get a soft round brush and I'm gonna pick a red tone. So let's go for the brightest one here. I'm gonna change the blend mode to color burn. And let's get 20% opacity here. Let's get a small brush here. And I'm just gonna paint on the hand here. Just very lightly, changing the, the size of the brush as and when. Doesn't have to be perfect because where blood would be would not be perfect, it would be sort of anywhere. I'm going to put some here as well, under here. And you can change the opacity if you want to as well on the brush, if you want to build that up. So maybe go for something like that. I'm going to get another layer here, again colour burn, I'm just going to add some darker elements to make it seem like wet blood, whereas this would maybe be a little bit dry. Now it's kind of looking a little bit fake, um, so what I'm going to do, get a brand new layer and I'm going to add some spatter brushes. Now you should have these as default in your brushes settings if you've got one of the sort of latest versions of CC. I'm on 2019, still need to update, um, thank you. <laughs> um, but in your brushes panel you should have special effects brushes. Um, which we're going to click the spatter brush there. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool little brush here. I've got this brand new layer. I'm going to change that to color burn. I'm going to just reduce the size there. And we're just going to add some elements here. I am on 100% opacity. doesn't have to be perfect. They are quite sharp. Um, if you compare the softness of the image with the brush, you can see that it's really sharp and that's quite, um, it's ineffective and it's, it's not accurate. So we will blur that in a second. So that's looking pretty cool. Um, if you have made a mistake, you can always put a mask on. You can get a soft edge brush here. Make sure it's on black and you can literally just erase everything that you don't need. And if you wanted to bring it back, change it to white. And you can bring it back in the mask, which is really cool. I think that's one of Photoshop's greatest tools because you're gonna be working non-destructively. So I'm gonna remove quite a bit of this here. Maybe go for something like that. And I'm actually going to blur this so that it's the same focal point as the image. So I'm going to go to blur, Gaussian or Gaussian blur, however you pronounce it. And then I'm just going to play around with the intensity or the radius of that. 
probably going to go for maybe a 0.8. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to add a little bit of noise to it because it doesn't really match. So let's see. And if you want to, you can just reduce the opacity a little bit so it's not so intense. So something like that. I'm actually not a fan of this section here. So I'm going to pop a mask on. I'm just going to erase some of that. And I might even put a little bit of a, a blood trail coming down here. So let's get a brand new layer. Get the lasso tool. And I'm just going to create a bit of a blood drip all the way down here. Doesn't have to be perfect because it wouldn't be. Stick that up there. Something like that. It's not perfect, but it's fine. I'm going to change this to color burn and let's color that in. So again, it's not not terribly perfect, but that's fine. I'm going to add some darker tones in there as well. Get a brand new layer for that one because I'm going to reduce the opacity. Colour burn. Let's reduce that to 75. And then I might add a little bit of light as well on the other side. So I'm going to get a bright red. change the opacity maybe 25 so those will need blurring as well so let's go to each individual one use the same stats There's probably a bit too much blur on that one so something like that a little bit of noise let's go for two something like that. Um, so next step, I think I'm going to add a little bit of blood to the water. So I've got my bright red, 100% opacity, brand new layer, change that to color burn. Nice big soft edge brush. I'm literally just going to paint in this bit here. And then put a mask on. Change that to 50% opacity and just sort of blend in the water here. So something like that. Again, you can reduce the opacity if you want. It's just so it's got a little bit of color. Now the red is probably a little bit too saturated, so if we look at the entire picture, it's very muted, it's very cold, like the colour of the skin, you know, is grey and blue. So the red is probably a little bit too much. So if we come up here, I'm going to grab the hue saturation adjustment tool here. I'm going to select red and I'm going to bring that down. Just so there's a little bit of a hint but it's not too overpowering because I think that's just too much and it looks um, a little bit too fake. I know this is a fake tutorial, but just a bit too much there. And I'm actually going to reduce the opacity on the little blood stream there. So I'm put that in its own group. Go for something like that. 
So again, this was a quick tutorial, learned a little bit about blending modes and adding sort of rough elements there with the paint and then some sort of more details with the splatter and the drip there, but very, very quick, just to give your images a little bit more detail. Um, it's great if you've got an image where you've got clothing and you need to add some blood on. I did do a Walking Dead poster tutorial a few years ago, which did add that in there, which was really cool, if you do want to check that out. And that's it for today, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this and taken something away that you can use in your own images. If you want to follow me, I am on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, this is the first video you've seen from me, please subscribe. It's absolutely free and I put out content every week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.